Hello everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. I'm splitting up my two uh, sad reads with a review for uh, something that is absolutely hilarious. Uh, Atria Publishing was nice enough to send me a review copy of Anxious People by Frederick Backman. Um, right, right off the bat, these uh, videos now are new, they're up to date. All the other ones um, are from, <laughs> some, some of them are from months ago, some of them for a from a couple weeks ago. So we are finally caught up, all the stuff that I shot you know, ages ago is up and uploaded, except for the If It Bleeds, the continuation of the If It Bleeds uh, Thursday Theorist, Stephen King Theorist, whatever you want to call it. But this one is, <laughs> this this book had me laughing from, now maybe not page one, but very early on. I think uh, my first Goodreads update was page five, I think, or nine, something like that. This book is hilarious. It is about, um, I'll leave my Goodreads review down there in the doobly-doo also, but it is about a bank robbery gone wrong and a hostage crisis or a hostage situation gone right. Uh, I know that sounds weird, um, and the book is absurd in places, but it's absurd in a good way. Uh, there is so much comedy in here, I was laughing every few pages. Uh, sometimes, multiple times on a page. There is a scene in here, I think it's chapter 16 or 17, uh, where there's an interview with one of the, uh, what, I think it's with the, uh, the teller at the, <laughs> at the bank, uh, and talking about having to identify the, the, the person, the bank robber, without giving any, uh, basically she, she doesn't want to give the person's gender because she doesn't want to misgender them. She, it's, I am of the mind that you should be called whatever you want to be called, your pronouns, whatever, that kind of thing. I, I'm, I'm on board with that. But this chapter is hilarious. And I think Frederick Bachman goes on in the book to be on that side of things also. But I, I never even considered how in, the, in our day of gender politics, you know, how would someone that is hardcore about pronouns and not misgendering someone how they would describe a bank robber. And because of that, this chapter was funny for me. Now, uh, there's a lot of twists and turns. There's a, there's a lot of goofy shenanigans going on. A lot of fun to be had. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's a section in here uh, about the... Uh, it's the father and son. I don't guess it's a section. It's a running joke throughout. It's the how the father and son police officers uh, interact with each other. One of my favorite parts of the book. Now, with the twists and turns, I had never saw any of the stuff coming that came. Bachman has this time, he, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why I say this time in just a second. He has a knack for, f sometimes, for foreshadowing. Sometimes it's heavy-handed. Um, not in this one, but he can be heavy-handed with his foreshadowing. And what he'll do is, okay, this thing happened, and then he will change the person it happened to at the last minute. Those are the kind of twists that he does. In this one, it wasn't so much that. There, it, there are elements of that in it. But the reason why I say sometimes he has a knack for it is because in his last book, Us Against Them, I felt taken out of the narrative because he talked to the reader so much. Um, and he used the same uh, device that, you know, something bad is going to happen to this person and it ends up happening to someone else. He used that device like eight times in the other book, which I didn't like. You can read my two-star review on Goodreads if you want. Um, with this one, I'm giving this one five stars because even though he did it, he didn't do it as much. Also, another thing I want to bring up is um, us against them versus anxious people is he... In Us Against Them, he kept... It was a very, very serious story. There was there was some, some funny parts, but it was a very serious story. And he kept telling the reader, this is not that kind of... Uh, as you're reading, he'll be like, well, this is not that kind of love story, or this is not that kind of uh, story... What, whatever. He, he would talk to the reader. He does the same thing in this one, but because this one is more of a comedy satire, it works better in this one. Um... But if you're in the mood for something to kind of take your mind off things and just utter goofiness, 
And it, I'm, I'm not talking about fart jokes or anything like that. <laughs> this book has some very hilarious scenes, um, and it's it's very maturely written. Uh, the the jokes land almost every single time. Uh, there were there were a couple where I just kind of rolled my eyes. I guess it, they're pro they'll probably be funny or uh, it, it, to to most people because it's like dad jokes and puns that kind of thing. Um, I have now liked more Backman than I have disliked. I think I gave A Man Called Ova. Um, that was a three star read. I absolutely loved Bear Town. Us Against Them was it was it just wasn't up to snuff for me. But his uh, the book he released before this one uh, is. Uh, Things I Need to Say to My Son, something like that, was absolutely fantastic also. So in my opinion, Bachman is, Bachman is just getting better and better as he goes along, and this has my highest possible recommendation. I know most of you out there that watch this channel are here for the horror, um, but this if you need a break from that, this is the perfect book to pick up to take a break from all the darkness that's going on right now, or maybe you're getting tired of horror or whatever. This is perfect. It even has thriller, not thriller elements, but it has a mystery. Um, that, that probably was my favorite part other than the characters. The characters are fantastically done. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own voice. All boxes checked for the stuff that I normally look for. So if you read Anxious People by Frederick Backman, if you have, let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo, whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it, especially if you hated it. I'd like to talk to you about why you hated it. Um, it it's not one of those that I can't see people disliking it, but it's one of those things where it's just, it's good fun, um, and I would be interested to see why you didn't like it. But anyways, so until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!